with that gun, he just pull it out in his pictures. Huh? Huh? Packing the mail, it's gone. Uh, she like I smell cologne. Hello there, you beautiful faces. Welcome to the Fire Report. I'm Lamar. All right, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Definitely talking about, you know, a grown-ass baby. Because his actions are definitely living up to his name. He should call himself grown-ass man baby. <laughs> Especially at this point in his career. All right? So, rapper the baby has been circling the news throughout the last year. And most recently because of a video that surfaced of him putting his hands on a hotel valet staff member. If you happen to not know who the baby, a.k.a. Jonathan Lindale Kirk is, he's a rapper out of Charlotte, North Carolina. He's also going by the rap name Baby Jesus. Y'all know there's a pattern in there? Baby, Jesus, the baby. You know, he may be a grown-ass baby, but there ain't nothing Christ-like about this man. And he's starting to become known more for his violent attacks than his music. Here's some of his viral antics. And notice how his attacks are always done in groups and not solo. All the hallmarks of a real coward. And he even allows his security detail in one of these videos to beat this one woman as if she's a 250 pound grown ass man. Y'all go ahead and take a look at this. stand his crash bandicoot looking ass <laughs> so like i said the baby is in the news because he recently attacked a hotel valet worker back in december 2019 now reports are saying while the baby was exiting the ac marriott hotel in beverly hills with his daughter which by the way is a really nice looking hotel judging by these pictures here <laughs> now the crybaby is claiming that while he was exiting the hotel with his daughter, a fan who happened to be a valet staff member at the hotel walked up to Angry Baby and asked if he could capture a video of him. Well, crybaby declined any video taking and long story short, the valet member captured the video anyway. The baby sees this act and confronts the man and this is what happened.
that video went viral and the baby responded on social media, here comes Wendy Williams with her love for thugs making excuses for the baby's behavior. He said no originally, then don't get sneaky, car parking guy, and video the baby from afar. The baby gets and sees him videoing, right? But the baby can't do anything because the baby has his baby in his arms. Here's the rest of the story. Hold on, hold on. The baby has a two year old, don't know the baby's mother, don't know anything about her. Don't. But the baby, so this guy, the reason why the baby didn't want to be videoed is because it's like family time coming out. His daughter is two years old, you know, and, and he's holding his two year old daughter in his arms. And the employee still tried to sneak this video, right? And then after he got the video he wanted, see, the baby secured his daughter with his men's in them. Look, and then went back, it went to the guy, said, let me talk to you over here. Made him go back in the hotel and pushed him down like that. Cause you know what the baby saw? After his men's in them took his two year old daughter, the baby tiptoed behind the valet, you know, cause people are so, on their devices trying to post real quick. So he's over here trying to post. The baby is standing over the man's shoulders, seeing that this man is posting. Here's the baby and his daughter. And you know, he, exactly. So now whose fault is this? The valet. So now whose fault is this? The valet. You're lucky all you got was shoved into a chair. Louise making excuses for this man is right on point with the type of guys that she loves. He had curly hair. He had, you know, chain swinging. I still am about that life. I, I mean, I, I like a man in a suit. I like a grown man like my age or a little older, you know, in a suit and everything, a little cat daddy salt and pepper, but I'm still about that life. When the chain is swinging and the diamonds are going, I'm like, Closing, this baby is no more than a coward. Anytime you have to get violent, only when you're surrounded by a group of people says more about you than you think. And these militants that are around him are just stupid as hell. I'm not putting my freedom on the line for a grown ass baby. No, unless he's paying me hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, to fight his battles. All the baby had to do was get a manager or a supervisor involved with this valet worker. Now, I'm sure a lawsuit is in the works, you know? So that's just extra money that he has to pay out. And all I see is an angry guy who has daddy and mommy issues, who probably was bullied growing up. So now that he has a little bit of status, he wants to flaunt his power. And his excuse for attacking the valet worker was because he didn't want to compromise his daughter's safety. Yeah, he runs around making enemies monthly. And he's talking about fame is cool, but he's a father first. Yet he's not being a leader to his kids with his ongoing antics and being in and out of jail and compromising the, the financial stability of his kids and himself. I, I think like so many rappers, the baby is so focused on clout chasing his hood fan base, trying to prove to them that he's this gangster, that in the process, he's wasting his good years on foolishness instead of trying to set himself and his kids up financially good for life. So here's the part of the video where I want to know what you all think. So let me know what you think about the baby antics. Do you think he and his Marvel crew are always in the right for ganging up and kicking people's asses? Do you think that the valet worker was in the right? Or do you think that the entire situation should have just been handled with a hotel manager involved? And what do you think about him attacking women also? Let me know in the comment section below. Peace. The Viral Report. You I didn't do it. to get this party started if you made it this far in the video do me a favor hit that subscribe like and that notification bell get in the party until you subscribe i love you for watching and i'll see that beautiful face in the next one